Welcome back, everybody, to your daily news report on your first, second, and yes, now your third a stimulus check update. The relief package, EIDL, CARES package, PPP 2.0, and of course, the executive orders. It is the first day of February. Happy Monday, everybody. The Problem Solvers Caucus got their meeting that they requested with President Biden, and they released their plans for stimulus. Find out how that affects you and the future of PPP and EIDL programs. Come on and get your news. Welcome back, everybody. I am Edward Builder. Thank you so much for joining me. Tell my lowest subscribers, welcome back for another one. And if you're new to the channel today, welcome. Uh, real quick, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this with your friends. Help the YouTube algorithm move this message to others. We have a big announcement just in uh, that the Problem Solvers Cockers got their meeting. So we're going to dive straight into that update because we need to pay attention to where this goes uh, as their meeting is later today to determine what the future stimulus really looks like. So I'm going to fill you in on the numbers uh, and how it affects all of us, how it affects IDLE, how it affects PPP. Now stay with us till after the big announcement on the uh, new bill uh, as we have more announcements for PPP and important reminders. Okay, let's get straight into what the Problem Solvers Caucus is proposing today with the big meeting with President Joe Biden. Ten Republicans on the caucus are proposing a new stimulus package that's to deliver immediate relief. Uh, they must be feeling the effects of this nor'easter. Uh, right now on the East Coast with me, I am buried under four feet of snow. And they must be buried under something pretty cold too because I get the chills when I heard this, when I heard this announcement, okay? Much more targeted. Everything is much more targeted. We're going to get into the numbers right now. $20 billion for child care, $20 billion for schools, $12 billion on SNAP programs till the end of September, $160 billion for vaccine production and distribution. Here's a big announcement, everybody. Uh, big announcement. $132 billion for unemployment. This is $300 uh, on, on a weekly basis, down from the $400 proposed uh, out until June 30th, not until September, out until June 30th. That's much down. <laughs> it should be double that. Uh, $220 billion on stimulus checks. I mean, this is still leaving out $100 billion. I'm going to talk about that in just a minute because this is extremely targeted, extremely targeted. Listen to the numbers here. This is a big announcement because if this goes through, we're going to see this very quickly. Targeted stimulus checks of $1,000, not $1,400 targeted stimulus checks of $1,000 plus the down payment of the $600. They're calling it a $600 stimulus, $1,600 stimulus check saying 1,000 plus 600. Uh, this is $500 for adult dependents, $500 per child, no convicted inmates. Listen to the salaries, ready? $40,000 singles, $80,000 filing joint. And then it reduces at $50,000 capped and $100,000 capped. Knowing that that range of $75,000 or, or greater just left the money in the bank. I, I think this is nuts, right? If you know if you know that the people less than $75,000 are the ones actually out there spending the money, don't give them a smaller check. Give them a bigger check. <laughs> give them a much bigger. Give them like $4,000. Have them go out there and spend it so it gets into the economy. I mean, if we're, if, if we're taking our $1,000 and we're just leaving it in the bank at $75,000 or greater... Give it to the people who are going to spend it. Take take that other portion that you're going to give to everybody else and send it towards the 40K to 50K capped at 100K and give them like 4,000 bucks. Have them go out and spend it. They'll be buying TVs and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, $10 billion. This is good news. This is good news for, eh, this is so, this is okay news for, for PPP and EIDL. $10 billion for targeted advanced grants. Now, I said yesterday we need $60 billion to cover everybody who applied, and that doesn't include anybody that's new. So $60 billion just to cover everybody else. They are $50 billion short on this proposal. Here, get this one. $40 billion for PPP is in the discussion. We need $300 billion more. That's what I announced yesterday. We need roughly $300 billion to cover uh, first round, second round for this, for this particular draw. It does not make any mention if they're going to extend the date of that uh, March 31st, but 40 billion additional dollars. It seems uh, it doesn't seem like it's going to do much for PPP. Bottom line, they do not want to spend that 1.9 trillion dollars. Yesterday, I was talking about roughly 900 billion 
uh, to $1 trillion that the Problem Solvers Caucus uh, proposal would be. This came in at $618 billion. They're like $300 billion short. <laughs> and, and not like GameStop short. I mean, this is really $300 short. Uh, so uh, we know we know President Biden is still going to go after $1.9 trillion. We're going to find out what the result of this is today. If they're going to pass a quick, urgent relief bill or not, or if they're going to hold out and wait for that $1.9 trillion package. Okay, this is making me really sick, feeling awfully... Uh, <laughs> I got the chills running everywhere right now. So it's probably a good time to swing by the description and get that life insurance in as little as five minutes. Thanks for sticking with me for the PPP updates. But before we get into that, I want to talk about our next giveaway. Uh, for every video that we hit 10,000 views, we're going to do a targeted stimulus for somebody out there that's not going to send chills down your back, okay? We're going to pick within that video one lucky subscriber who comments to send a hundred dollar check to once we hit 10,000 views. Now, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're going to do another $500 giveaway uh, for all of the comments that are out there for all of the videos. So stick with us on this channel. We're going to be sending some of our proceeds back to all of our viewers. So do your part, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check me on Instagram, join the $800 tracking play by play PPP and EIDL and play by play rental assistance by state. Let's get into those PPP updates. All right, let's get into the PPP updates. Now, if you do happen to be one of the fortunate ones that you're going to receive a stimulus check or you're receiving PPP funds, it may be a good time to swing by the description and check out Weeble, Robinhood, and M1 Finance. They are giving away all kinds of free stuff. Weeble wants to give you four free free stocks valued up to 3000 bucks. M1 Finance wants to give you $30 just for transferring $100 into their, into their system. And, uh, of course, Robinhood, just link your bank account. And they're going to give you a free stock valued up to about $250. All right, we're going to talk the dates on PPP. March 31st is the last day. Don't forget that banks will close five to 10 days early. I have an update on Cabbage I want to talk to you guys about too, so stick with us. Uh, check with uh, check with me on March 15th for all Draw 1 applicants to start prepping for your Draw 2. I'm going to keep reminding you guys again and again on this one because I want you all to get your Draw 2. If you guys were Draw 1s and you started receiving your funds, there is still an opportunity to get your Draw 2, so stick with me on this one. We're going to get you guys your Draw 2. PPP errors, we are still seeing that bug that Cabbage Case Servicing is having. They have not yet repaired it, but we did get indication from the customer service and all the tech reps that they are aware of this bug. They're not exactly sure what or how it means, what, what exactly it means or how it got there, uh, but they are looking into it and we will see changes over the next day or so. So I, I announced yesterday, these bugs will come up on the weekends and there is not a single person taking a phone call because when a bug happens, it takes all of you viewers to call them and tell them, hey, there is something weird going on. And then another call comes in, another call comes in. And before you know it, they have a list of all these all these calls that the tech services pile this into a, a bucket and say, oh, we got to go see what that problem is and get it fixed. Now, if it happens on the weekend, chances are you won't get it fixed until Monday or Tuesday. And right now, it actually almost seems like it's going to go into Wednesday. So stick with us here. We're going to get you guys your updates and tell you what's going on exactly with that bug. And hopefully it gets, it gets fixed today. Thank you all for tuning in for another video with me today. Uh, check back with us later today as we have the results of the Problem Solvers Caucus meeting uh, to let us know where the future of stimulus is actually heading. And don't forget to do your part. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Help the YouTube algorithm continue to bring great giveaways to all of my loyal viewers and all of my new viewers out there. And check with us on Instagram. Join the 800 others tracking PPP play-by-play, EIDL play-by-play, and rental assistance by state. I thank you again, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye for now.